stick mm. on the first one for a bit. <laughs> uh, okay, so a couple of days ago, we know Miss USA happened. Yep. Now, this morning, she just spoke out to, to Good Morning America. Kara McCullough, we know, again, she's from D.C. She won Miss USA. It's uh, Do we have Billy? I want to talk to our producer, Billy, now. The question and answer that Julianne Huff uh, asked her on stage. Okay, so he's coding that right now. Okay. But basically, she had went in and asked her, um, this question. Do you? This is Julianne Huff. You know her as a judge on Dancing with the Stars. Um, she was also the host of the Night of Miss USA. She says, do you think affordable health care for all U.S. citizens is a right or a privilege and why? And she said, is, do you think it is? Do you think not it, what is? it should be? And what did, and what did Kara answer? So Kara said that she feels privileged to have health care. Mm -hmm. And she went on to say that she has a job and she thinks that we should continue to cultivate this environment where you can have a job and you can have health care. So that's what she said. When I first heard it, mm -hmm. and can I please chime in where you, where you think maybe we are hearing it differently, because I know we all have different opinions on this. When I first heard it, I thought, okay, she said that, but then now she's apologizing and flipping the script and saying, no, it should be a right for all citizens. That's what she's saying on Good Morning America. So I was kind of like, no, she should have just stuck to her guns. If you have an opinion, you have an opinion, girlfriend. That's okay, not everyone's going to like what you have to say. You still got Miss USA, no one's taking away that crown. You're going on to compete at the next level. Um, but then when I'm hearing the question asked again, this and it's the same question that Julianne Huff asked, she, what I'm getting from it is that she said, what do you think it is? What mm -hmm. is the state of our healthcare system right now in America? And Kara answered it, this is what it is. It's a privilege. Basically, you have to have a job, and I want to cultivate an environment where everyone should have a job so that they can have health care, which in the end, Dina and I agree in saying that she's still saying that it's not a right. So, well. and I think the point is, is that it, it wasn't asked, what do you think it should be? So it, there's two ways to look right. at this. You can either so look confusing. at it as she's responding to Julianne Huff saying, yeah, this is what it is. Right now, you have to have a job to have health care. Yeah. Um, However, with the Affordable Care Act, you don't have to have a job to have health care. Right. And so, you know, you can be somebody with a pre-existing condition and have health care. But the other way to look at it is, does she want it to be this way? Where the only way somebody can have health care is if they are actively working at an employer's office or some sort of a position where you are granted the right of having health care through right. your job. So now she's getting a lot of heat. People saying, did you mean it was a right? Did you mean it was a privilege? Clearly it's a lot of, yeah. you got to clarify. And I'm looking I mean, into and, this too much. And, mm -hmm. I, and when I first heard it, so when I first, I saw it blow up on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and I was just like, whatever, I'll wait to see what it's all about. Mm -hmm. When I first heard it, I didn't take it either way. I took it as, you have everything on the line with this pageant. You've worked <laughs> for years to get to this point. You went through prelims, you went through your local pageant to get here. You are Hard in front of one, uh, millions of people mm -hmm. with, again, everything on the line. So when I heard it, I was like, oh, she just flubbed a little bit and didn't really know what she was saying. Yeah. Because if you watch the pageants over the years, some girls completely tank yes. the question. Oh, it's yeah. bad. And you bomb. know they're not dumb girls. They're not dumb girls, right. but to get you to have that point. so much adrenaline pumping. You have, you worked so hard for this you kind of black out, zone out, and you sometimes people don't even really know what they're saying. So I just took it as, oh, I'll see what she says later because whatever you say up there, there's no telling if you really believe that. Mm -hmm. And you have to remember, some girls who answered the question in previous years, not saying all, but some, probably are saying what they think people want to hear, sure. not but necessarily then is that what they right? believe. Mm -hmm. So I was more looking, towards, looking forward to what she said today on Good Morning America. And again, today she said, I am privileged but I do think it should be a right should for be all. A right. Should be a right. Okay. And I we do have back the sound at bite, I think. We have that sound bite. Okay, let's, let's hear how okay. all of this went down. I would like to just take this moment to truly just clarify because I am a woman. I'm going to own what I said. I am privileged to have health care, and I do believe that it should be a right. I hope and pray moving forward that health care is a right for all worldwide. You know, so that's what she meant. That That is what she's saying now that she meant, to mm -hmm. Cornelia's point, you know, when you're up there and you don't have a minute. I mean, that's sort of the whole point of it, right? You're up there, how do you perform under pressure? You're representing our country um, for more than just being a beautiful face and with great hair and you can walk in your baby, that whole thing. It's, can you be under pressure and, and what are your opinions and can you be concise about them? Mm -hmm. um, I do think that I, I want to flip the script and say, Miss USA, what were you thinking? What was your intention when asking that question. Mm -hmm. Were you asking for her opinion or were you asking for her to define 
the health care in our country right now. So when you make it so unclear, we do, as Rob Karl Mark likes to say, live in a gray world, right? It's sort of like, what was she going to do with that question? And some people would say, well, this is great. I don't have to define it one way. I can give my opinion. You have that choice. Others would say, you confused her. You confused her, and now it's made out to be like now she's flipping the script, and she was just defining it. Well, I think she was just defining it the way it was asked. A part of me, asked. though, thinks, to Cornelia's point, and you only have 30 seconds, you're on the biggest stage of your career, this is the biggest moment of your life, the nerves are going, um, but I bet all she heard from Julianne Hough's comment, honestly, was health care. I bet she didn't understand or take time to really dissect. Did she say should be? Did she say is it exactly Right, this? not until this morning so, when I heard. Right, and so, and the way Julianne Huff said it, it almost looked like she was about to misspeak. And she goes, is it a right or a privilege? Mm. She kind of spit it out. So I wonder if, if Miss USA didn't even realize what she was trying to be asked. She just said, healthcare answer to Miss USA. That should have been a more clearly defined question, in my opinion. What I do you think? think but then I define it. I those are they, two different questions. I think what questions. they wanted to know was, what do you think it should be? What do you think we should have in this country? And okay. Then again, I, and I want to speak to to the age of holding people to what they said in one moment. Miss USA, they're gen, they're usually pretty young. Yeah. She's, I think, 25, around the, the 25 age. Not any older than I, I believe. We'll look 26. that up right now. We'll look but, it up. It's very possible for you to say what you thought you believed on stage, then come off stage, see different sides of the mm -hmm. of people's opinions, do some more research, yeah. and then say, you know what, I don't, I don't think that. Yeah. This yeah. is what I and think And you have now. the right to do you that, You have the too. right to do yeah. that. So even, let's say, even if she did get up there and what she said was what she felt at that moment, she has every right to flip it and say, yeah. you know what, I read a little bit and I, I did my research and that's not what I feel and that's anymore. Right. And, and, and that's okay. I think I commend her even more for getting on GMA and saying and clarifying, even if it was a little different than what she originally yeah. said, because you got to have, you really got to have guts to do that. But to play devil's well. advocate, we're making that assumption. She could have said what she said, meant what she meant. And now she's well, backtracking because she's getting a lot of grief about sure. it. Well, let's hear it because now we have the sound bite okay. of her being asked the question and then her answering it. Go ahead. I'm definitely going to say it's a privilege. As a government employee, I am granted um, health care. And I see firsthand that for one, to have health care, you need to have jobs. Okay, okay, so again, you're hearing part of that answer and the rest of it is that I hope that we can continue to cultivate an environment, mm -hmm. this is all me speaking, not verbatim, um, cultivate a, a culture where people can have jobs so that they can have health care, mm -hmm. insinuating to me that she's saying that it shouldn't be a right, you have to have a job in order to get it. Yeah. Um, before we get to the feminism bite, let's get to the co comments. Okay, yeah. but before we get to yeah, the comments, okay. let's clarify that she's 25 years old. 25. Okay, 25 years old. So, Cornelia, you had mentioned that, you know, you have to cut, young. cut people some slack. She's in her yeah, mid-20s, mid mid but I don't know. I mean, others would say, well, she's in her mid-20s and she's putting herself on that stage. Yeah, you have to be ready. Life experiences come with life, comes with life and growth yes. and wisdom comes with age sometimes. You can be wise and you can be young, but again, sometimes you don't have to think about certain things. Maybe she didn't have to think about healthcare this way until this this question, yeah. this fashion. Yeah. And now she went home and was like, you know what? That's I need to I need to research. Yeah. So Joe Williams, hi. Thanks for watching us this morning, Joe. Hey, Joe. Uh, Joe says healthcare insurance is a product. You do not have the right to be given free products, but you do have the right on money and buy that product. So I think he says you have the right to buy the, that product if you have the money. He says, I'm going to have to agree with Miss America's original statement. Mm. So my question to you, Joe, now that you know she came back this morning and said, clarify, I do think everyone should have the right to have health care. What do you think now? I know you agree with the original statement. Right. Um, and you then, see Teresa? Let's see. Go ahead. Teresa Mosley, you're making an assumption that she meant something that she didn't say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. one way of looking at it. Yeah. That, yeah. you know, she's coming now and flipping the script and saying, oh, I didn't mean to say that, or she could have very well met what she said. And yeah. yeah, and Tina Mason yeah. said, I think you all are missing the point. The young mm. lady does believe all should have health care. However, she feels fortunate to be able to have good health care herself. And I, mm. and that's also what I thought in the beginning um, to you, Tina, because she says, I'm privileged to have She's just care. defining it. Yeah, like, privilege. yeah, I feel really privileged that I am somebody who's able to have health care. So I agree with you there. Because but then at the job. end of the soundbite, she does say, 
I think we should continue to cultivate this environment where you everyone has a job and everyone has health care. So in that way, I do think she was kind of trying to define the fact that you shouldn't have health care if you don't have a job. Again, I'm making that assumption. <laughs> yeah, and I took that part as... And you took it differently. I took it differently as if you want to win and you want to get the crowd fired up <laughs> behind you, you throw in jobs you and you talk about jobs. something. You, you mention jobs and getting people back to Keywords. work and people are like, yeah, let's get her in there, man. And, and people so, started clapping Yeah, people started clapping. Yeah. So they were doing what they're clapping yeah. for. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. looked jobs in there. I was like, oh, she's trying to win this. <laughs> she's trying and to win what? this. She did. And she yeah. won. And she her crown is still on her head and no yeah. one's taken away because at the end of the day, whether she flipped the script or not, it's her opinion and she has the right to flip the script and yes. say, okay, well, I didn't mean that whether she meant it or not. She has the right to do and that. And a former Miss America contestant, and, it, and it's blanking me now which one it was, did tweet after all of this controversy yesterday saying, oh great, you know, now she's being attacked because it wasn't the popular answer. Because, she, right, because saying, people you, think you, can you have stick to, to your guns. Yeah, yeah, people think you have to say what's popular at the time or, you know, what you think most people are going to agree with you on. And so then that begs the question, you know, when Miss America is asking these questions of these women, are they answering with what they really feel or what they think, like you said, the crowd wants to hear? See, and I, it, it, when it comes to that, it's like when I'm watching these competitions and you're watching all the glitz and the glamour that come with it, and I know it's like it's a nail biter when the mm -hmm. questions come because you can just imagine yourself on that stage and put under that that kind of pressure. You don't want to be that person in that moment or that woman in that moment. Um, but even if they answer something that I don't agree on, that is the beauty in the country we live in is that yep. everyone mm -hmm. has a right to their opinion. So yep. I never judge someone in that moment. This is a competition about how they represent you know, themselves mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Like again, to Cornelia's point, this is a growing competition. This, these are young women. Yes, they're representing our country. Um, but if they can stick to their opinion and know how to know how to do that and not be hated by the world for doing that and encourage people to have opinions. I think that's a beautiful thing. And one more thing that she did say before we move on on this topic, um, she did mention uh, later on about feminism. She was she basically said she doesn't see herself as a feminist. She sees herself as an equalist. And she got a lot of flack for that too, because a lot of people said, what's wrong with being a feminist? And she on GMA said this morning, I'm not trying to say that I don't believe in women's issues and that women you know, shouldn't have the same equal opportunities as men. She said, that's not what I mean. What I mean is everybody should have those rights and it shouldn't be a just men or just women type comparison. So again, what she said on the stage, got a lot of flack for it, yeah. clarified in Good Morning America that she did want people to know she cares about women's issues. But see, I hate to pick everything she says mm -hmm. apart. Congratulations to her. Again, she has the right to her opinion. But I just want to define what feminism is. The advocacy of women's rights on the basis of the equality of the sexes. So mm. to say I'm not a feminist, but I believe in equality, contradicts in my opinion well yeah and and this is I can I'm gonna push the envelope with this one this is kind of similar when when someone says black lives matter and then someone says all lives matter mm. it's not that you're saying something does not matter it's saying right now we're gonna focus on this because we want equality so that we can feel like we're included in the all so I think when she was saying which I think what she was trying to say is I want us to all be equal and I want I don't want to single us out like it's all about us. I want us to be able to have uh, be on an equal playing field with with men and women. So do you agree? I, I agree that yes, we should be there, but we still the, the need for a feminist movement. Some people can say we still need that because we're not I agree. there. Mm -hmm. So I think I get I get what she was trying to say. But again, I think it's the first the situation with the first one. She just didn't word it to she didn't word it effectively enough so people could understand completely where she was coming from. Mm. But if I you're think saying, it's about the words. Picking the, I think yeah, the words. words in this case are so important. My issue with that is that, okay, you want equality, and this is a conversation that happens all the time. You know, there are women in my life who say, oh, I'm not a bra-waving feminist, but I do believe in equality. I'm like, well then, it's okay, there's this stigma, there's this negative connotation around the word feminism and feminist. And, and I could say my husband is a proudly a feminist because he believes in the equality of right. my rights and his rights. Right. And it doesn't mean that he can't he doesn't go around saying he's a feminist and that's that's his thing. But I don't think anyone should 
feel that there is this negative connotation around it. And I know it's because you look back at the movement in the history, but again, it, it was those women, those suffragists, right, who had to go and march and walk and wave their bras and show their boobs and do all these things to get it through people's heads that, hey, we are women and we should have equal rights, and we're still not there. Mm -hmm. Today, feminism is different, I think, right. than what it was, but I think for her, she's not doing anything to help the cause for equality by saying she's not a feminist because there were so many women. She w she wouldn't be standing on that stage today without the women who have blazed the trail. But I don't, and that's the thing is, I don't think she disagrees with that. I think she- But then, but to I think say, I don't think I'm, but the way she right, answered but, it, saying I'm not a feminist. But I think it's okay. that, I think that, again, it's all in the interpretation of what she says. Um, you know, all those hot words, feminism, equalism, health care with the right and the privilege, those words set off a controversy. That is going to be a controversial statement, no matter what you say to one group sure. or another. Sure, she would say, I'm a feminist, yeah. and all the people are going, oh, there's then another feminist. Been, yeah, so same reaction. I think, I think that there is a level of when you're on that stage and you're put in a platform where you have to make a common sense answer appeal to everyone, you're never going to win. So stay PC. So stay PC. <laughs> so you know what? She put jobs in her first statement, maybe on purpose. You know, with this one, she says, I'm not going to consider myself a feminist, but I think we should all be equal. This is I mean, okay. I think in Strategy. general, I think in general, we're all going to be able to find something we don't like about these statements. But at the end of the day, she still won. She's going to take her platform. She's going to go all across the country and inspire millions and millions of other young girls to go on and really work hard and believe in something. So are we becoming too nitpicky? and wanting to dissect everything everybody sure. says or do we need to put that pressure on these women when they're on a stage and a platform like that to say no when you're up there you better get to meaning what you say because you will be dissected and you better be firm on your decision or is it okay I don't know. I to think, go back? I think, I think it's okay to point out when when people miss, misspeak about certain things because again it goes to the conversation of if you don't talk to anybody who knows anything about the feminist movement, if you don't talk to anybody who knows these things, you'll never know. Mm -hmm. You'll never know that what you said could possibly have rubbed some people the yes. wrong way. You would never know this because for you're that like, woman who marched, yeah, to, you would never yes. know this. So I think there there is a need to call people out on certain things. Now, when people get crazy, you got the Twitter trolls harassing people. Now that's just ridiculous, and that needs to stop. Yes. but I think pointing out certain things and creating a dialogue around it, um, it, it changes things. Because yeah. again, if you live in a bubble and you don't know nobody, you yeah. don't know any of this. I so was, hearing yeah. it from the first time, you're like, oh shoot, I never thought about that. I never even looked at that perspective because that perspective doesn't live in my life. Mm -hmm. So I think there mm -hmm. is a need to to bring up the, these types of discussions. It's just unfortunate that sometimes it gets a little aggressive. Well, and then one person gets pointed out to say, mm -hmm. mm, you're the one who started all, all of this. Yeah. When really, like Cornelia is saying, and having this just backstory on our relationship as, as women and as friends and as hosts and colleagues, you know, since meeting both of you, I feel as though, and I, and I talk about this to my husband Caesar all the time, I feel as though my perspective on life has changed. And I think that's a beautiful thing because what Cornelia brings to a conversation is, um, you know, she's, she's well read on our history as a country and the mm -hmm. black community. And sometimes what I would oftentimes see because I'm not of that community, what I would assume, she'll bring that other side. Mm -hmm. And I go, you know what? I get it now. I hear that same answer in a different way. Yeah. And with Dina, you know, it's the same sort of thing. She's of a different culture. You know, she's uh, of a different community. And that helps me to understand. So I think having us together and for you guys, I hope you see that too. Yeah. yeah. That we're all coming at it probably from the minds of all of you. Someone can relate to one of us. Right. And, but it's, it's important to listen and to hear what other people are, are saying in yeah. these conversations. So shout out to Kara McCullough, yeah. 25 years old, District of Columbia winning Miss USA. She started a firestorm at mm -hmm. the end of the day, we're all talking and our producers Came said, and listen to me and move on. We can't get through all your comments, but I want to shout out to Tina Mason, Rick Rodriguez, Patty Brewer, Hayback, Woohoo! Richard Schruber, Christian Cavallo, Kelly Pearson, Toyo, all of you, thank all you for your you. comments. We can't read them all, but we'll go back and, and try to respond a little later. Yes, we will. Okay.